everyone, we're Toe Away Couple. I'm Tom, the driver. And I'm Bunny, and I have a few screws loose. Yes, and I wish that ticking would go away. <laughs> I can hear it. You can hear it. They can hear it. If I can hear it, they can hear it. But then when it goes bing, they're like, oh, good, they're going to shut they're up. They're going to shut up. Finally. <laughs> I mean, they could. We don't want to hear about hubcaps. <laughs> we don't want to hear about hubcaps. Speaking of which, today we're talking about hubcaps. Hubcaps. <laughs> this is for our drive away people. Right. So people in the drive away keep messaging us because Bunny does drive away and I do tow away. They're always saying, You're always doing be uh, videos on tow away and. We want to get into drive away, and we wish you would do videos on drive away. Mm -hmm. But our name is Tow Away Couple. We got a little side note. Okay, so a uh, side business. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna do some more videos on drive away for our drive away people out there. Right, but this one can go both ways too. You can. <laughs> this video can go both ways for tow away and drive away when we're talking about things missing off of your units. Okay. <laughs> so anyway we just recently bunny had uh three instances of hubcap issues and the most recent one just happened on this past monday it's now wednesday yeah so we went and dropped off a unit and we do our pre-trip and bunny inspects everything everything looks fine does her pictures everything's fine and we get to the first fuel station in Kentucky. Yep. We made it all the way to Glendale. And, and when I'm going around the corner, I heard some little chinking noises making. And I'm like, hmm, that didn't sound good. I'm going to check this out. She thought it was something else. I did. I thought I hit something or something. So park it, get out, and I look. And I realize that I am missing three of the little hubcap screws. Yeah, they're, they're nuts that screw over the top of the end of the lug bolt and that's what holds the whole hubcap assembly on right. so we're gonna we're gonna post pictures as we're talking so you can get an idea now so i immediately take take my pictures send it to claims let them know hey i'm missing two of these and we tightened everything back up check the other side the other side's fine we tightened everything up we're just good to go we're gonna go on our way correct so we stop again this time I've lost another three. <laughs> yep. Same thing. Take pictures, send them to claims. The final stop for the night, turn around, look, I had one. One, one left holding on that hubcap. So to remove the hubcap, put it in the compartment, took the picture, send it we to claims. We had tightened them up along the way. We kept trying to tighten them up. But and this I mean, I just... tightened them because we don't have a, a socket big enough for those I mean they're pretty big plastic they look like they look like lug nuts but they're plastic so you don't want to damage them you don't want to scratch them we don't have a socket so I just put my gloves on and I just put as much um, strength as I could and usually the plastic and the hubcap will create a uh, basically like a, a pressure body. where it won't want to back out right the other yeah. side was fine it was but that's the side we kept hitting all you the... You got to stop hitting the table. We kept hitting all the potholes on. <laughs> this is the second time we're doing the video because <laughs> Bunny kept hitting the table. So... She it, talks aggressively. I do. But this is not the first time I've lost hubcaps. No. So... The first time was in... Canada. In Canada. Alberta, Canada. And when we get there, we noticed a hubcap was missing. And we're like, oh, dang. Is that driver damage? Right. Well, this particular dealer said no. She goes, as a matter of fact, most all of half, the units... Half of the units come in missing, missing at least one hubcap. I was like, well, can I take the missing one off of that guy's and put it on mine and I've got a complete unit? <laughs> right. Because he was missing the opposite side. <laughs> yeah. Or she. Or she. We don't know. And then the other one was to California... We noticed it missing the day of delivery mm -hmm. uh, a few hours out, and we contacted Claims yep. and told them that it was missing and everything, and that was very stressful. I really sometimes uh, I hate going to do check-ins. About a half hour before check-in, I start amping up and start getting anxieties because I don't know what they're going to find that we missed. And that scares the heck out of me. 
I'm watching my language. You are. You're doing good. I'm doing good. So anyway, that scares the heck out of me. And all of a sudden, we knew that the hubcap was missing. We've already talked to claims. We already had that dealt with. But when we went in there, he immediately goes to Bunny and says, did you call your dispatch? Because that's driver damage. And Bunny's like, no. Oh, well, then that's driver damage. He kept saying, driver damage, driver damage, driver damage. He just wanted to put it off on the driver. Yes. And then, so, but Bunny called claims. She didn't call dispatch. You got to be a little specific <laughs> here. Because he was being so aggressive that we weren't going to help him out. So, all of a sudden, he, we get the dealer acceptance form. And he wrote, missing hubcap, did not call dispatch. Driver damage. So Bunny wrote on the driver acceptance for did not call dispatch, called claims, not driver <laughs> damage. And I look at the dude and I said, stop with the driver damage. You don't know if it's driver damage or not. Just say it's missing a hubcap. Send it to our company. Our company will go back and forth. If it's driver damage at that point, we'll deal with it. But until then, why do you want to make such a... It's almost like they get off on it. This guy does. This guy does. And a lot of people don't deliver to this guy because... Because of... Because yeah. of this. Every time we've, we've been in there a half dozen times, and every time he tries to pin us on driver damage. No, it's just me. Oh, it's just funny. Yeah, I go in there with the trailer and they just about the mark trailers. out the trailer. But the motorhome, they always try to find something and they always try to write driver damage. And Buddy always writes on the BOL, not driver damage, road wear, road damage. Or I mean, I, I he, he nailed, I know this off topic. He nailed us, a uh, Bunny, <laughs> not me, us, not even us, Bunny, on little tiny things on the windshield. I mean, so minute, I had to zoom in with my camera, take a picture, then I had to zoom in on that. This guy spots the stuff, and he writes driver damage. What, are you t kidding me? He has a, r a roll of red tape the minute you don't pull in. Don't give up too many secrets. They'll know who we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to put anyone on blast. So, anyways. But, anyway, with that the said. The moral of the story. What? The moral of the story. The moral of the story is, is... is we keep in contact with claims and we keep them updated along the way. Now, when we delivered the big unit where we lost all the lug end caps and everything, I had Bunny call because I actually didn't know how, honestly, how that worked. And I said, I'm, I'm getting a little nervous because that hubcap could have been a hundred, two hundred dollars. I mean, it was a big chrome hubcap with all the accessories to it. I God only knows my truck little tiny hubcap is a hundred bucks. Right. So right. I was just thinking, oh my God, driver damage, you just drove this unit for free. Yeah, because that the one that I lost in Canada, she said the maximum was like fifty bucks. Right, but that was just a chintzy one. Right. A little piece Not of a plastic. nice chrome <laughs> cover. So she calls the claims and says, Hey, is this driver damage because you know we can't keep we can't literally um keep the lugs on there and he he's like you guys are always keeping us informed so yeah we're gonna have your back because as long as you keep us in the loop along the way we have something to fight mm -hmm. not only that we found out every time bunny was taking pictures and emailing they were sending those pictures and emails to jaco yep. and jaco was prepared to start sending those replacements out so it wasn't going to be driver damage but we didn't want to stress for another day right exactly and but you know what there's a lot of times where you lose the hot water heater door Right, Those and that's not driver damage. Time. They're not driver but damage. But you got to tell claims as soon as you know. Um, and preferably what I would recommend is walk the unit a block or two away so you could take additional pictures and send them to your claims department. Your claims department shouldn't do anything about it until... <laughs> see, there's our buzzer. They shouldn't do anything about it until they get a claims from the dealership but at least they're aware and they might have something to fight for you on. Right, right. Because, I mean, things happen. I mean, we watched some guy fly by us one day and I'm like, he's 
something's wrong with that trailer. Yeah. And it was the window. It was the it was trim, trim around the door that covers the screws. Yep. By the time we pulled over, it was, it was already gone. gone. But oh, and the, to finish up the little story on the windshield. I told the guy, stop with the driver damage. It's not like we get out, get a handful of rocks and throw them at the windshield. <laughs> that would be driver damage. Yeah. But when we, you're going 20, 2,300 miles? 2,200 miles, you're going to get little tiny rock or <laughs> right. speckles or right. whatever. Especially when you're trying to go in the right-hand lane and the diesel's past you in the left and they go into the shoulder and they kick rocks all over you. Exactly. So, yeah, beware of that. The left lane no one ever goes into, so all that road debris is nice, fresh gravel and rocks. So when those diesels pass you and they hit that left, those rocks actually kick over into your lane. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure when the diesel passes and you're on the left, start getting over into your emergency lane and slow down really fast and just let them pass you because that could chip the paint. It could then it could really become driver damage. Right, right. Now, I always I always fall fall back to a safe distance. So whenever they can't pass by me, I'm like, he's going to hit your, he's going to throw rocks. Your will let me rocks. know, so I start merging over. So Because, God forbid, we don't want, we don't want rock chips on our pretty trucks. No, mm -hmm. no. Uh, so just keep, keep your claims department informed. Uh, previous company I worked for, it's unfortunate. I had something happen. I contact claims. They took my damage deposit. No ifs, ands, or buts. The company I work for now, they don't take your damage deposit until they actually get a claim, and that's the way it should be. Right, right. Especially in some of these things like hubcaps in the, the little doors. I mean, heck, we've known people that have had windows fall out of units. Right. I mean, anything can happen. Exactly. They're made by humans. Right. Things happen. So, we're enough talking. Uh, this was just a video that was fresh in our heads. We thought it would help you. Uh, if you get bored of our videos, follow us on Instagram. Follow <laughs> us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. It's Tow Away Couple. Yep. And if you're looking to learn more about Tow Away or Drive Away... Go to our resource page on towawaycouple.com. We have a link to our Facebook group, and it's f it's full of people looking for information on Towaway Driveway. But we also have a bunch of people in there that actually do it for a living, and they offer great advice. But not only great advice, you get a difference of opinions. Yes. Because we don't know everything. We don't claim to know everything. We just tell you how we handle situations. And other people should never tell you how to do something unless it's an absolute, but how they deal with situations and take the best of both worlds, mold it into whatever you think is best for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, until next time. We'll see you down the road. We'll see you down the road. <laughs>